Daily Purge on this Tuesday morning. I hope you're doing all right. Greetings from Hungary, right outside of Budapest in this little village of 2,000 people. People ask me all the time, they go, Stephen, how do you do what you do from a small village of 2,000 people? Well, you know, everyone says location, location, location. Well, that's when you want to buy some real estate maybe or place some marketing. But even then, even then, you know, location, location, location isn't always meaning the highest traffic areas or the largest cities or the best places that people think is going to be. You know, for me, it's it's really simple. I look at solving problems. It doesn't matter if I'm in a village of 2,000 people or 20,000 or 200 million people. It doesn't matter. There's no village, but, you know, 20 million people. And this is what this is what this whole process, what we do as service providers, as coaches, as consultants, you know, social media specialists, marketing agencies, whatever it is that you do, you have to be solving a problem, right? So let me give you an, an example of how you can solve a problem in your own village, in your own city, without even going to sell anything. Simply ask for an appointment. So I came to this small village about a year ago, a year and a half ago, and the first thing I did is I called the mayor and the state secretary, or the, the county secretary, and said I'd like to have a meeting. And they asked me what for, and I said, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm an American, I just moved here, and I'd like to say hello and see what I can do for the, for the city, for the, for the village. So I went to the, to the appointment, and they looked at me strange and wondering what this American guy wanted because it's not typical to go to uh, the mayor and just say hi. So I went in, met the secretary, met the, met the mayor, started talking, and he told me about his passion for collecting guitars. Well, uh, he showed me all of his pictures, and the secretary was there sort of bored about what he was saying, but she also said, yeah, this is what we want to do. We want to build a high school, a swimming pool, and a gym for the village since we already have a preschool and a elementary school. So I walked in there with no intentions whatsoever except for to add value. And the value I added was, one, I spoke to the, to the mayor about his guitar fetish, so to say, and I hooked him up with somebody who had a very rare uh, collectible guitar that he is now purchasing. So that made him very happy and it put me on his A-list, if you will. So now I get invited to things um, that you know others may not be invited to. It's a small village, so it's, it's not that big of a, a deal, but that's just an example of how you can have influence in your it doesn't matter where you are in, in, in your village. Now, what that does is it propels me to do things for other people. So when I have success like that and I help someone like that, then it shows, yeah, what I'm doing is okay, it's right. So if you're just starting out, start small, start around where you live and start gaining influence, adding value, creating space, and ensuring that everyone in your life enterprise is being elevated. Feeling better when they leave you is when they met you. So you're, you may be asking yourself, well, Stephen, what does this have to do with sales? Well, it has everything to do with sales. Because the way I spoke to the mayor and the state secretary or the county secretary is the way that I speak to every single client. I go in with no intention except for creating value. I don't even care if, if, if they become clients. I wish them to become clients if we're a good fit, but I don't even push for them to become a client. I will only provide value by solving your problems, giving you solutions for those things that you otherwise cannot find. Now, it's that simple. If you go out today, no matter what you do, what solution are you providing that others do not provide? And what's the problem you're solving? And is the problem you're solving something you think they have or is it a problem that they know they have? Because if it's a problem that you think they have and they don't know it yet, then you have to educate them, which makes some people feel stupid. And you don't want to make people feel stupid because it's really hard to sell to somebody when they're in a place of defense. So when you add value, add value to the, way, to the point that you're giving them a direct solution. Don't hold back, give them all the answers show them how it's done, and then they're gonna bring you on and say, look, can you do this for the rest of my business? Can you do this for the other parts of my business, my partners, uh, you know, my colleagues, and things like that? This is how you land a client, solve a problem. Now, the problem is really difficult to find sometimes because someone says, well, it's a business, they need a website. I provide a website, I'm solving a problem. Actually, you're not because everyone solves that problem. Every digital agency, one-off entrepreneur, uh, a college grad, high school grad can make a, a website in minutes with uh, the cookie cutters. Yeah, and you're saying the SEO is messed up and it doesn't look right, but most people don't even know they need SEO. So there's a problem that you'd have to educate on. You don't want to be educating the people. You want to solve their problem. The problem for a business who needs a website isn't the website, it's them getting traffic, right? Either to the website or in their business. That's a problem that they know they have. I need clients. They don't need a website. They need clients. You see the difference? So if I'm a digital marketer and I'm approaching you and say, look, I look at these beautiful websites I make. Great, and look, look at the SEO. I don't know what SEO is. Great, so what else could you say to make sure that they understand that you're actually there for them to get them more clients? You say, look, with a new website, we can generate X amount of traffic in X amount of days, which will give you X amount of, of, of revenue if you have an X conversion rate. 
for instance. So let's look at your clients. How many you have, your average. Let's boost it up 20%. Let's say how, how many we want by the end of the year, reverse engineer it, how many do we need per month? And then we can calculate how many leads we need per month to get the clients you need per month and then we can calculate how many ads we have to do, what kind of promotions we have to do, collaborations, joint ventures, email, joint ventures, and all the other ways that you can work together to create massive revenue for your clients, no matter what you do. Sound like a plan? I think it does. All right, everybody, remember, things like this, simple, easy, fourth grade level, one, two, three, A, B, C, done. That's what makes people stand up and listen, and it makes you have an easier way to have an impact. Sound good to me? I hope you guys have a fantastic one. Remember, all this stuff, it all creates quality of life. Have a fantastic one.